Welcome back to the channel, you guys. My name is Jack. This is Gas Diesel Garage, and in today's episode, well, we're doing some more work to that Ford F-250. So stay tuned. Now, if you guys recall from the last episode, we took the injectors and we technically rebuilt them. We put fresh new filters in them, the seals and the cups and uh, cleaned them on up. So we're just gonna have to uh, install them now. As you see, here's my eight injectors. Look how clean they look. Like I said, filter, cups, and both seals. Now there's a little trick that I use to make sure that I do not pinch these seals or O-rings when they go back in because if you pinch them, you're gonna cause a leak. High pressure fuel will be leaking all over your engine. That's not good. So what I do is I like to grease the, uh, the, the seals up and what I use is dielectric grease right there. Now people are probably typing in the comments right now like why in the hell are you using dielectric grease on injectors when it's made for electrical stuff it's the same principle put grease on a rubber seal so it doesn't leak or goes in good well yeah goes in good anyways let's just get started okay just get yourself a little bit of this just a little bit and you're just gonna lightly coat them try not to get stuff in there but just a little bit on there right there right there on the seal we're gonna do this for all eight of them of course there we go right you don't have to cake this stuff on you just gotta get enough to where the seal is actually or the o-ring is actually wet for lack of term lack of a better term there we go righty okay All right, now what I do is I like to put the injectors in first up in here and then set them all down in unison. So, go ahead. Okay, I lied. The very back one, since it's so difficult, go ahead and, and place it in the intake itself. And then of course, make sure you put your plug on because if you put this one in there like that, you won't have no problems with it moving, hopefully. So, let's continue on.
Make sure they're all pushed down now. You don't want them to have any leaks. Okay, once you got your fuel rail pushed all the way down on top of the injectors, it's time to put the fuel rail bolts back in. One in the front, and you got one in the rear. Right there. And just gotta zip down those two eight millimeter bolts. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know I use DeWalt tools. Now, DeWalt tools seems like it should be a construction tool, but actually is a fairly good uh, mechanic tool. And, of course, I know you see me with my 3 8 impact, my drill, and DeWalt sent me over something pretty dang on cool. And perfect for what we're doing right now because we need to get those bolts that are kind of hard to reach down through there. So... Why not have a 3 8 extended ratchet? Now, I don't have one of those, but DeWalt sent me one, which is kind of cool. And here it is. A 3 8 long neck ratchet. Check that out. And, of course, comes with one battery. Wish it was two. But, also, they sent over this pretty cool tool also. This is a charger for your batteries, but it also is a USB charger. So you can actually hook your phone up to it, you know, even a, an external light, your snap-on light. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to put these things to the test. We're going to get them in action. So if you guys want to pick yourself up one, check the video description below. And there will be a link down there on how to grab one. Now let's get to work. And since we're almost done with this, uh, the driver's side, might as well put this bracket back on. It wants to be nice. There we go. Okay. Right. See if my ratchet can fit in there. Yes, it does. And plug up the TPMS. Alright. Okay. Everything looks all copacetic here. Now let's switch over to the passenger side and put those injectors in and uh, get that sense down so we can start this puppy up.
Okay, now that we got the injectors in, now we need to test for leaks. Now the way we test that is that we just turn the ignition to the on position so the fuel pump will energize, go through the fuel filter, and then energize the uh, injectors. You do that, you'll know if you got a leak or not. So let's go do that now. Okay, keys, keys, keys. There it is. Okay, it's on. Fuel pump energizing. Let's pray that we don't have any leaks. Okay, so far so good. Let's see if it uh, starts up. Hit on the first time. Usually it takes a while for it to crank and crank and crank, so you know the fuel injectors will all fire at the same time, but I'm pretty happy with that. Well, for a hundred thousand mile engine, it's got new spark plugs, new ignition coils, and rebuilt injectors and cleaned injectors, I might add. And uh, I believe it sounds pretty good. Hopefully it runs pretty good, which I think it will, but this build, or restoration, however you want to call it, is far from over. Because if you guys remember in the first episode of this build, uh, I have to put a catalytic converter in it because uh, it got stolen. And then some jack lay mechanic decided to put a straight pipe in it instead of putting the catalytic converter in it. So uh, let me show you that. This is going to be for next episode though, but I'll show you what we're in store for. You see right there, that straight pipe? Well, it's supposed to have a catalytic converter, and we got one right there. So we get to weld one on up in the next episode. So until then, please like, subscribe, and uh, pick up some merch. Help spread the word of Gas Diesel Garage all over the world. So uh, until next time, see you next time. Peace.